Hello there, it's Candace again, and I wanted to share with you today the Inventor's Book of Calculation Games for Brilliant Thinkers for ages 8 13 plus called Are You a Math Genius? And this is by Sarah Brown of the Thinking Tree. As you can see, Are You a Math Genius? Sarah Brown, Thinking Tree. Okay, this I um, was. Uh, given a discount in exchange for my honest review. Um, I've reviewed several of Sarah's books. I really, really like uh, pretty much everything that she has come out with. Uh, she's come. We actually were introduced uh, to Sarah's work through Dyslexia Games um, about a year ago, and um, I, this is before I knew that she did other books as well, and these are just great. Um, this one, I'm an engineer, so this one definitely... Uh, you know, caught my eye when I saw that she had published it. Um, this basically goes through, as you can see, the table of contents, test of basic skills, test of mental agility, are you naturally brilliant, memory challenge, integration challenge, communication challenge, visual thinking challenge, and, um, inventive abilities evaluation and creative application challenge, and graph paper. So that is the table of contents of it. The first chapter tests basic skills. How smart are you? It gives you an invention and it tells you how much each person on the invention earns per hour. Um, and you need to figure out how much you need to pay them over uh, however many hours it asks you. So I worked these in my head um, to try and figure them out. These are in the back of the book, the answers. Uh, not the bonus questions, they are considered open-ended and so those are not in the back of the book but all of the answers to these interesting inventions are in the back of the book. A Stop It Sprungy. These are really hilarious names by the way. Um, so that's the first duty popper. So that's the first chapter is just all of these inventions and um, calculating in your head. This one, how much does this invention cost? It shows you the parts, and you need to figure out how much it costs based on which parts and how many of each part are included on uh, the machine. So, as you can see, all of these parts have a value. The eye, the marshmallow, the teacup, all the different people have parts. So, um, really, another... Um, calculating... What I like about it is, at first, when I when I read the title, I have to be honest, I was expecting advanced differential equations, um, which really would surprise me when I think about it. Like that's not this is this is great realistic math for real life. Um, not that many people are doing differential equations, but we have to figure every single day. So this is awesome practice for any teenager in your life to practice. Uh, figuring things. How would you figure out how much something cost? How, how would you figure out how much it costs to run it depending on how many laborers you had? You know, this is just real life application math. Lots of addition, lots of multiplication. So chapter three, guessing games. This would be one I probably would just be terrible at, but um, I did not actually go through and compute these yet. Um, but you you have number of points per each part over here, and then you get the invention over here, and you have to see of the two, which one, you would guess which one of these two uh, costs more. So, you can see. Anyway, um... As you can see, the I, it probably would boggle my mind. I have to sit. I would have to sit there with pieces of paper and sit there and figure that way. There's no doing that in my head. Mental memory challenge. Now these, oh my goodness, are crazy because you have to try to remember. Um, see if you can remember the name of the invention. So, and what invention costs the most to operate in chapter one? So these are just remembering what you've done so far which is pretty pretty cool. High level intelligence integration challenge. Once again, this is the value of the invention and the cost to operate for one hour, one day, or one week. So once again, this is great for computing um, real, real life um, products, even though obviously they aren't real life products, but the Fabio Buster um, looks marvelous. 
So you, you make an advertising for it, advertisement for it. So once again, this talks about being a book of calculation games for inventors. So if you have an invention, how are you going to market it? So it's got some marketing in it too. It is not just mathematics uh, and simple uh, calculations. It definitely has a lot more to it than that. Woo! And there you just fell. It liked the dapple splatter and wanted to go see it closer, this camera. So, as you can see, you go through this chapter. High level narrative communication challenge. So, you have to write a short story about the invention. So now we get into some kind of creative writing as well. So it's not just in drawing, drawing the missing parts of the invention. Great brain exercises here. Creating your own invention and the value it needs to be, you need to take your items over here and get them to add up to 309. Very cool. So this one you have to invent a game to play with these inventions. And here's graph paper for creating on the back. So as you can see, there's there's a lot in these. See? Yes, we add, subtract, multiply, and use algebra. See, it's nothing like math that um, I'm, I've been used to in my education uh, to be an engineer. So just really a very fun book to get you involved in real-life mathematics and... Um, just, I mean, even for kids who aren't uh, mathematical, or even adults who aren't big-time mathematical thinkers, this could be, for adults, it could be a great just exercise, and for kids, uh, a great learning tool. So I just wanted to share this with you once again. Are you a math genius? I don't know. I used to think I was pretty good at math, but after doing this, I'm not so sure. Thank you for watching.